Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about the another network layer design issue that is the implementation of connectionless services. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe for more engineering related topics and the playlist link of the network layer design issue videos is given in the description. You can assess it. Now, what implementation of connectionless service tells is so there will be no direct connection between the source and the destination. If you consider host one as the source and host two as the destination, that is, if you are sending a message to your friend, so you will become the sender, and your friend who will receive the message will become the receiver. For example, let's take you are sending an Gmail. Let's take an example that you are sending a Gmail to the your friend or WhatsApp anything. So, in this implementation of connectionless service, there is no direct connection between the receiver and the sender. So, what happen is there will be a subnet. So, what is this called? This is called as the subnet. And each of the router will be connected using a LAN. What is LAN? Local Area Network. So, is this subnet can be used as the ISP. So, what is ISP? Internet Service Provider. If you are sending a message, if your SIM card is Geo, then the Internet Service Provider for you is Geo. If Airtel, it is Airtel, like that. Now, this subnet can also be called as ISP. What is ISP? Internet Service Provider. Next, the information will be shared in the form of the packets. So, it will be called as the datagram in the connectionless service. And this network, because of the packets are sent to another router called as the datagram, the network will be called as the datagram network. Datagram network. Now, the source can send the packet in any way because there is no certain con connections between all the routers also. There will be no certain connection between all the routers also. The source that is, it will send to the nearest router and A can send through B also, C also. After C, C can send through D also and it can send to E also. Like this, different paths can be used for the packets to be transferred. So, all the routers will be having the routing table. So, let's consider only one routing table for a, you can draw for C also, you can draw for D also like that. So, now let's draw for the A. So, for A, we are having two conditions. That is, it can transfer the information through C and the information through B. So, that is, it will transfer through the shortest path itself. Now, for the routing table A, this is initial, initial routing table and this is later routing table. We have two conditions, no? So, so A to A, there is no change because when the sender sends the information through the packets, it will be going to the nearest router A. So, there is no need for writing A itself. Now, for B, for B, if, you, if the information sent to the A must go to the router B, it will go directly to B through B itself. To C, it will go through C itself. Now, let's consider to D. So, to D, what is the shortest path? It can go to C and then to D and it can go from B and then to D. So, let's consider it will go to B and then we, it will go to D. It will go to B and then it will go to D. Next, another two routers are E and F. So, let's consider Using C, it is going to E and F. Using C, it is going to E and F. So, we will only represent the nearer, no, nearest neighbor of the A. Because from A we are sending, which nearest router it is using, we will represent here. Another later table is another path we can use. So, to send to B, it is only the one path. So, B and for C also C. Next. To D, later we send, initially we sent through B only. 
so we can send through c also so what i will do i will send to d through c now i must send it to e and f initially i sent it from the c now i can use b to send the information so i will use b router through b router it will go to d so from d it will go to e and from e it will go to f and finally it will be received at the receiver end so same for the all the routers you just represent the routing table for a it's enough for the exam so hope you understood the concept of the implementation of connectionless services if you have any doubt please comment below thank you